you are a dentist and I am your dental assistant. Now one day what happens, I make a call to one of our patient on the phone saying that Mr. Smith, you have an appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning and make sure you confirm it by the end of the day today. You were sitting right beside me and you noticed that the waiting room is full of patients and you notice that uh, I am breaching the code of privacy. I am not able to maintain the privacy as I am loudly speaking on the phone saying the name of the patient. So you see that as a concern. Now, how are you going to deal with this situation? This question could be pre presented in various formats in a situational judgment exam. It could be either asking for a open response which means that you can say whatever you would like to say against or as an answer to this question. Or you could be given some options. Let's say one of the choice includes you go directly to me and tell me that I'm breaching the code of privacy. So I should better mind myself. Second option could be you could approach to the practice manager and tell him or her that I should be better taken care of or I should be given a warning about it. The third option could be you do nothing about it and continue to carry on with whatever you were busy with. Fourth option is you would like to discuss this in the next meeting where all staff members are pr present and uh, you take it as a concern that needs to be discussed. So from best choice to worst choice, you could be asked, arrange the options in a sequence, starting from the best option going to the worst. So if you are given five choices, you see that which one is the best choice to choose as a response as an answer to this question and the last one will be the worst choice. So you still have to arrange that order. It could be the choice number three as the best response or it could be the worst response. The second way this question be, uh, could be presented is you could be asked that Choose the best three responses in order to deal with this situation. Talking to me as I breach the code of privacy. Second, discuss this in the meeting. And the third, discuss with me since I do not know anything about the code of privacy. Now you take that proactive approach to guide me as I have no idea about maintaining privacy. So this is a situation and it could be presented in various ways. When it comes to Canadian dental equivalency, situational judgment tests could be considered as something new, but worldwide situational judgment tests are quite popular. They have been used in recruitment drive, in a corrections department, in hospitals and in multi-million dollar organizations and corporations. So it is just a matter of uh, how soon we become accustomed to uh, tackling the questions that are presented in this test and uh, that's how we are going to become better at them. So if you have more questions, do not forget to ask them in the description, comment it, uh, write to me and I will, I will be happy to respond to them. I have uh, compiled a course, uh, NDEC, NDECC, uh, Clinical Competence Examination course, in which I have compiled some scenarios for you to practice with some foundational guidelines as uh, how you can become better in challenging these questions. I'm Rahul Monga and thanks for watching this video.